All right, it's the first day of the uh, 2019 Game On Expo, and we're going to be vendors of it today. Uh, it's normally just gaming stuff, retro stuff, and stuff stuff. That's a cool con. It's grown. This is our first time, my first time being a vendor. Her, like, 40th time. She's teaching me all her ways. So we're going to go down to downtown Phoenix Convention Center, and let's get there. We have to have breakfast. Hi Gina, here we are. Oh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Game on Expo. Game on Expo 2019. We're vendors here. Is this exciting? Yes. We already made some money. We've already sold some stuff. Probably all of our good stuff, and we sold it too cheap. And mm -hmm. the night before it opens. All right. What you got there, Gina? My badge. What is it? Oh. The vendor. Yay! So this is Thursday the night before. We're just doing the load in. That's what the con people say, isn't it? Yeah, load off oh, your flash is so great. Ooh, look at that big reveal. This is wild. This is wild. Oh my god. That's racist. No, that's that's Japanese. Alright, so we're in the gamer booth. Not the gamer, the garage booth. Okay. So welcome to Game On Expo 2019 in Phoenix, Arizona. I decided to change things up a little bit for this video because I needed to break from uh, RVs. So I took a couple days off, bought a uh, garage tail sale table at the Game On Expo, and set up shop to get rid of some of my stuff. And here we go. That is awesome. Hey, look at that. That's a cool little uh, table you got here. Anything good here? What? <laughs> Probably shouldn't put that there. Let's just walk away. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> so after we set up our booth, we went around roaming to see everybody else's booth set up the night before. Took a look at some of what they were selling and if we needed anything. And I'll probably include a lot more of that later on in the video. And uh, before uh, we get out of here, we got to close the booth down so nobody steals anything. All right, so we put our... Uh, our booth to bed. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. All right. I'm tired. <laughs> so let's get uh, call the school tomorrow. Get you out of school. Yeah. No school. So at this expo, we're gonna have the voice of Mario, the voice of Peach, the voice of Bowser. I'm not sure that he has a voice, does he? Ah. Oh, we got Boo. I didn't know that she was actually a voice. Noise. Why? Ash, catch him. He's the only real Pokemon trainer I care about. Uh, Look at that. This is sick. The they got Team Rocket here. here. That's probably why my badge has Team Rocket on it. Bulbasaur? What? Nurse Joy? Gina, it has everything you could ever want. Ever. Maybe. All right. First day. All right, let's get set up a little bit better. Put some cubes up. Okay, so there it is, my booth. Just a small little uh, folding table. My daughter helped me set up. It's a collection of stuff from my house that I'm just trying to, again, make some room out of, not make a fortune on, pay for uh, my tickets to the uh, convention. And hey, that's a good sign. I wonder who made that? It was my daughter. Hey, there's my daughter. This is right before the uh, Expo actually opened, we got a little bit stir crazy, and we were trying to play with some of the stuff we're getting rid of. And this is me wait, waiting anxiously for anybody to buy my stuff. Uh, spoilers, uh, they bought all my stuff, so I guess I did have the best price of the Expos. I, because my daughter was there helping me, I did manage to escape and get away and take a look at the Expo and enjoy it. Uh, you got tabletop gaming there on the left. You had an arcade, pretty much a free arcade set up there over on the right. And uh, I didn't get to play too much of it because by the time I got away again, everybody was uh, playing them, using up all the all the good games. Now up here over on the right, there's going to be a guy in an orange shirt there. And that's actually the vo voice from NBA Jam. He goes, he's on fire. So it was cool to meet him. I went to a, a panel which he discussed some things I didn't know about gaming. 
Uh, and then past the arcade here, uh, to the left is the home video game console setup. Well, not that. Over here to the left. So they had all the vintage uh, console set up with uh, CRT TVs. You could play whatever you wanted. Uh, they had a whole library of cartridges you could check out. It was uh, really quite enjoyable. Over here on the right, they had a Smash Brothers competition where I learned just how, again how bad I am at that once, once again. Towards the back, uh, there's a Splatoon and a Fortnite. And uh, we'll just skip ahead to the back area where you had more vendors set up. They're selling all sorts of great stuff. Uh, I This is my favorite part of the con after the panels is just walking around and looking at all this stuff. <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of uh, interesting things for sale, that's for sure. Uh, it worked out well that T-Mobile was set up there. I got my wife a new phone. So that was one less thing we had to do on, over the weekend. And uh, up past to the left here if we would have gone to the left that was where my booth was located back over there to the right is where all the uh, cosplayers are set up and over there at the left is where all the artist artist alleys and at the very very back is where the voice actors and the uh, the invitations or not the the, the guests from the uh, the convention are at their their tables you can meet them so if we get past link and some other of these cosplayers uh, there's my booth. Let's go see how Gina did while I was gone. All right, Gina, we've been going at it for about four hours, maybe. We've sold all of our big computers. We're kind of making our way around. Still only Friday. Are we having fun? Okay. Now, by day two, I had my daughter, my son, and my wife there. They were manning the booth for me. I was able to get away and actually enjoy the expo like I had hoped to and uh, get around, take a look at everything that's going on. This won't be like a complete review of the expo, but I managed to go see some of the some more panels and enjoy myself. Well, here it is. Second day's over. Not half over. It's about halfway over. And we're closing down our booth because we sold everything that I think is going to sell. And I think we did pretty well. So there it is. 2019. Game on, Expo. We're good. So here it is, the last day. Sunday. And I didn't have to have a booth because I closed it down yesterday. Because I sold everything I needed to sell. It was a lot of fun. Playing retro games. And... Uh, Walking around, seeing everything that's going on. It's like going down here. I like uh, Game On Expo more than all the other expos I've gone to. And I got to share it with my family. I'm here on the last day with my son, and we're just walking around, enjoying things, and playing some games. Bye, guys. Water. You gonna rate my rig? Oh, it's Fortnite. Fortnite. That's crazy. It's They're so better than you. Right there, what is the chair? All or the rig? <laughs> All of it is so expensive. Look how awesome this is. This is so cool. You gonna man the booth so I can do all the fun stuff? No. But I don't wanna do the I can't, the... I can't be like, yeah, I'll give you ten for that. And you'll be like, what the f that was a seventy hundred dollar thing. I'm like, mm. uh -huh. You said to get rid of it. <laughs> 10 bucks. <laughs> They're like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll bring in my booth and sell for $20. <laughs> exactly. These are cool ones. I haven't seen any of these games before. Well, then you haven't been to some of the cons that we go to. I, I haven't. They've got the, uh, the retro setup over there for all the gaming cons or the home consoles. I remember it just being in the small little convention center. That's pretty cool. See those, uh, those uh, arcades right there? They're, they're purpose-built for uh, NES games. Cool. So the, the one that looks like a Richie Rich, yeah. that's uh, DuckTales. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go home. <laughs>